we're going to create a cumulative exam with more than one question bank, make it a proctored exam with a password protection for the testing center, as well as throw in a couple of nice tips, uh, things to do on behalf of the testing center. So to begin with, I'm going to create a quiz inside the, my module. It's going to be a new quiz, and I'm going to name it the InDesign Proctored Exam. Add my, my exam here. Once I have it in my module, I can click on it and my, add to the settings and create my questions. So I'm going to edit this to go into my settings and make sure that it's the graded quiz. It's in my correct assignment group, which is exams. And I'm going to require an access code. Here, you're going to need to do a nice uh, four letter word. It's really a good thing to do a real word that you wouldn't guess, although I really do like fear. And one that can easily be typed by one hand. That is a nice thing to do for the testing center. So I'm going to create that one. That's not the real one for this quiz. I have a different one, but this being a video, that's the one I'm going to use. Um, of course, I'm going to set the times that it's going to be available. This is going to be available starting next Monday. Um, I'm going to make it open at 8 a.m. And then it's going to close the following Monday because they like them to open and close on Mondays. So I'm going to have mine close at 8 p.m. on the following Monday. Okay, so now I've got the date set. I need to also add my questions. This is how you're going to do a multiple question bank grouping. Um, I want to take 10 random questions out of my five quizzes for the five chapters that is going to be on this exam. So to do that, I'm going to create a new question group. For example, I'm going to call this one um, InDesign Chapter 1 questions. I want it to pick 10. I happen to know that they're going to have to be two points apiece because this is a 100-point quiz and I'm going to have 50 questions. So I'm going to link to a question bank to get that. If there's my chapter one and I'm going to select the bank. Very important. I know this is a um, tempting to hit save here, but you need to create the group. And this button right here creates the group. All right, I'm going to repeat that with each chapter that I need. I'm going to pause not to bore you with that, but that is what I'm going to do next. As you see here, I have created all five uh, groups that I need, and I have my cumulative exam uh, on InDesign. Now I can save the quiz. I'm not going to publish it just yet. Just going to save it and see that everything looks the way I want it to. If you are, do not have 100 points at this point, and that's what you intend, you need to go back and look at the point values you put on the groups and be sure that um, it's all going to add up to 100 points. Of course, you can also test out if the, the exam is working the way you intend it to by clicking the preview button. Uh, it will give it just a minute for it to log on here, and I can see the questions here. Make sure that everything is um, looking the way I intend for it to look and it looks good. Okay, on this screen, uh, it's only you, the instructor, that can see this information. You can make sure that the points are adding up the way you want them to, and the access code is there for you to match up and be sure that it is the same that you put on your testing center instructions. So I have the exact test name, the dates it's open, and of course that lovely easy for them to type in a password. Okay, um, the next thing I want to do is another nicety for uh, the testing center is I'm going to go ahead and highlight, and I can't see this on screen, but I'm highlighting the entire HTTPS of this exam. Uh, so I've highlighted the uh, address to this exam and I put it on the clipboard. I'm going to do this because I would like to uh, put this uh, as a link off of my home page. So it's very fast and easy for the students to get to this exam when they're in the testing center. But before I leave the screen, I'm going to go ahead and publish this uh, exam. And I'm going to also go into the module. This is located and publish that module so that in a minute, I can show you what this looks like to the student. I'm oh, sorry, publish that module. All right, so I have that URL directly to the exam already on my clipboard. 
and I'm going to go ahead and edit my home page here. So on my home page, I'm going to click edit and I'm going to highlight that, center it, bold it, maybe make it a nice big old paragraph header three. Okay. And then on highlighting it, uh, after I got that looking the way I want, I'm going to add the URL link. Ta-da! Insert the link. And now when they, after I save this, click on the link off of the home page, they can go straight to that InDesign proctored exam. All right, so let me show you what this looks like from the student's perspective. For that, I'm going to go down to my settings. And I'm going to masquerade as a student for a moment, uh, which is done on this main course settings. I can go into student view. So now I am masquerading as a student. So if I go on this home page and I click on this proctored exam and I try to take this exam, it's going to show me that the quiz is locked February 20th. So they cannot get into it. Now I paused the video just a moment ago and went ahead and changed the date backwards so that I could show you if I attempt as a student to take this quiz right now, it is going to ask me for that access code. So they do have to go to the testing center and this is the point that the testing center would put in the access code and actually put the student into the quiz to begin taking the quiz. So. That is all you need to know on how to create a cumulative exam as a password protection, uh, see that everything is all working, and do the extra nice thing of putting a link on your home page to go straight to the exam. It's a very nice thing to do for the testing center and for your students. If you have any questions, contact Julie Moeller.